Yo, so what's quack a lack in there, guys? How you doing? My name is Pone, and I really just want to tell you a story real quick, so sit down, nestle up. So it was about this time six years ago that a little boy from Ohio had dreams of being a YouTube commentator. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. That fucker was me. And during this period, I created a series called The Nwegs, the nuke with every gun show on Modern Warfare 2. And... I have to say that it took off with tremendous support, and I decided, hey, let's pay respects to it, let's start it all over, and let's start the mothership with every gun show. So the M-Swags. Uh, it sounds a little better, too. And I decided to start that. Now, I know you're asking yourselves, why not a nuclear with every gun show? And for sanity purposes, and the protection of my wallet and those around me, I do not want to go through as many controllers as I did before. And nuclears are far more challenging now than they were back then. Nukes were easy. You could build up in the chopper gunners, AC-130s, and take those straight into nukes quite consistently. So things are a lot harder now that it's all gun kills with those nuclears. And I'm not saying I can't do them. I can do them with ease. But it will become too complicated and too stressful when you're trying to get them with snipers and pistols and stuff. On PC is one thing. But on console, it's just far harder. That ceiling is there. The skill gap is different. And you can't be as reliable with things like the Draken and, you know, the pistols and stuff. So I'm going to do my best to try to create a, an awesome commentary, an awesome series. And if you guys like these, let me know in the comment section. Support them by leaving a like. And let me know down in the comment section what guns you would like to see next. I'm going to pick some of your comments and do those in the orders that the community votes for. Just to kind of keep it fun and interesting. Now the way that this series is going to go, this is kind of like a pilot episode, is that it's going to be me talking a little bit about the gun, the streaks, what I had to go through. Tips for you guys to acquire high building streaks with these as well. Because as you can notice in the bottom right side of the screen, I just nailed my first Merciless and got the first Mothership. This is a double Mothership in one game, which is not bad because it's a 1700 point streak. And it's a pretty high to obtain score streak. It's a pain in the ass. And I wanted to set it so that it's a bit more challenging. So I have no other score streaks up on the rise. So it's strictly just the mothership. No UAVs to help. No haters. Just a poor single mothership trying to make it in the world. So it's going to be a pretty fun and exciting experience. So I decided to cap off the series and start it off right with my favorite gun in the game. And that would be the BRM. I absolutely adore LMGs. What they are. What they stand for. Because they're so diversified. I just like the fact that you have, you know, the BRM, which is great as an assault rifle. You have the Dingo quicker rate of fire that can contest some SMGs. I know, not the Vesper or anything, but some of them. So they're a very unique category uh, with this game, and LMGs actually are a force to be reckoned with, and the BRM is my favorite gun in the game. So I decided we're going to pick one for Pwn, and I wanted to start off with my favorite, and it turned out to be a solid one. We managed to get a double on one streak. We were just a couple kills shy of the nuclear, actually, so it turned out to be a pretty good run, and we got double motherships. Unfortunately, it was before I called in the first one, so we didn't get to ride out two of those, um, but hey, it's 2015. Two moms is not a crazy thing. <laughs> I, I really do like playing it, and I like the Mothership. It's actually very, very effective. If I recall correctly, it was a horrible streak to run back in the beta because I remember the first time I got it, I pulled it out, I started killing things with it, and I noticed that my teammates were getting kills far quicker than I was. You know, you can have and have a couple of your buddies accompany you while you're trying to get them. A lot of damage and spray can be kind of dispersed out, and what would happen, if I recall correctly, is you would not get any points for that. So what would happen, so effectively, you being the nice guy and all, you set up a nice party, you invite your friends over, they end up just taking over, taking all your yingling, stealing all your Doritos, and it was horrible. So the problem was, is your teammates were able to gum in jump in the gunner, the highest to obtain score streak in the game, the heaviest hitting one in the game, and they were able to put out all this damage and generate points for themselves, but you wouldn't get a cut of that pie. You were not able to get any of it. And that was a pain in the ass. It was a really big problem for it because I didn't want to run it anymore. My teammates were getting more kills than I were. We were, we were pretty much fighting over it. And we were, <laughs> we were just siblings, man. It was just not working. We were literally stealing from each other. And it was kind of annoying, to be honest, because of that feature. But I'm glad that things have been kind of refined a bit and things have changed around. And, and I think they wisened up and, and made sure that counted and, and is more effective this time around. But that's basically what it is. It's a very effective kill streak. You can rotate locations. You can shoot rockets. So it reminds me of the old chopper gunner, but now you have a bit more control, a little bit of finesse, and you can't really miss it. It's like the whole damn size of the island right here. It's a very large thing. Like, maybe if I ever get the opportunity to show you what this thing looks like from the victim's perspective, it's kind of crazy. 
I, maybe I'll do that on the next episode so you can see exactly how big this thing is. But our reign in the ship has ended. Thank you guys so much for your support. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here for future M Swags episodes. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what gun you'd like to see next.